Hi everyone, Ann Olson here, and I want to show you how to use the corner border feature in Quiltmagine. It is a gold feature, so I'm on the home screen here, and we're going to hit gold features, and it's this first one here, it says border corners. And so here's our border corner screen. The first thing is border style and placement. I'm going to choose corner border because that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to go to the place on my fabric, on the quilt, where that corner of that border is, and then I'm hitting the button and it's going to move. I'm going to come down and hit the, where the side is. Then I'm hitting the inside of the corner and then down and hit that straight down. Then we're going to move the machine head over to the other side of the quilt and do the same thing over here. You're going to hit that inner corner and the outer corner and it doesn't matter whether you do inner or outer first. Either one will work just fine. So now our placement on our quilt is set. So we're going to go down to number two which is set your margins. And you can pick I hit the zero and you can pick, say you want a quarter inch or maybe you want to, your border to go in half an inch. Um, I'm going to say a quarter and then I might come back and change that later. We'll see. It depends on my pattern. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my pattern. So I went to three here and now I'm going to hit corner and I'm going to pick the corner pattern. Now mine are saved in border sets. And I was going to do a leaf pattern, so I'm going to find that in here. I'm going to use this leaf multi-corner one. And so I'm pulling that in. Um, and it has put it, it's placed it there for me. Now I'm going to hit the border. And I believe in order to get that, I need to go into my continuous line patterns. And it should be down, here it is, Leaf Multi. And so I'm going to use that. So now I can see that it's set there. And it. if we go in closer, which we can zoom, you can use the slider up here to zoom in to see how it's looking. I like the quarter inch placement. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, if I hit Fit, it'll go back and show me the whole screen. If I wanted to flip the patterns over, I could use the next one, number four, and I can flip things over. So like if I flip horizontal, see it switched directions? I would need to also place my corners if I was gonna do that, but I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna just hit that so it went back to the normal. And I don't need to edit my pattern connections because it's, it's joining up and hitting correctly. So I'm gonna say sew all. At this point, it takes me to the screen where it's ready to sew, but I'm going to go to my plugins, which is the little button right up here, and I want to do fabric compensation. That will allow for any movement of the pattern. And so it's showing this top line to do first. So I'm going to do the top line of the border, and I'm going to use the plus button and just mark all along the top line of that border. And as you notice, it is starting to shift it down a little bit. So it's doing some shifting. And that's okay, just keep going. Don't worry about the fact that it's making your pattern and your leaves look skinny or anything. Because when you come back and do the other side of that, it will fix that. So we're gonna just keep going all along there. Any changes in the way that that fabric is lying, that way it will get it and keep doing it. I'm going to say next at this point. It's actually taking me over there and I'm over here. So I'm going to use previous and now I can come down the side and mark those locations all along there. I'm going to use previous again. It's moved me to the next one and so I'm marking that one and now we'll do the bottom of the border. This allows it to move and make it fit your space that you're doing. So I'm going to keep going along there, marking that until I get it all marked. And that's 
see, I had one last one to do over here. This side, I need to do this one. And then I need to do this one. All right, now all of those have been done. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm ready to stitch it out. So I'm gonna come back over to this, where the green is, because that's our start. I'm gonna have it pull my bobbin. I'm gonna take a stitch with my red button. And I'm trying to pull up my bobbin thread. And then I will have it sew. Where's my bobbin thread? And then I hit sew. And it's off and going. And so that's how to get your border placed and done.